In this video, we're going to learn how to design this 3D printable catch-all tray from start to finish. This is a fun and simple design that if done correctly and printed with the right filament can give any workspace a premium feel. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so here I am with Infusion 360. The first thing I want to do here is to create a sketch. To do that, we're going to hop over to the left-hand side, click on Create Sketch, then select the bottom plane in the center. From here, we need to create a center rectangle. To do that, we can hover over to Create, Rectangle, then select Center Rectangle. From here, this allows us to create a rectangle or a sketch from wherever we place our points. Then we can go ahead and drag this out. As you can see, we've created a center rectangle from the origin. And now if you were to press Tab on your keyboard, you can alternate between the due dimensions as shown on screen. The first dimension here, I'm going to set this to 140 millimeters. Then pressing tab, I'm going to set the second one to 180 and press OK. Once completed, I'm going to click on finish sketch. And from here, you can see we have a sketch now turn into a ready to be made solid profile or solid body. Now what we want to do is to select this profile, press E on our keyboard. This brings us the extrude command within Fusion, which allows us to bring up this profile. We can go ahead and extrude this and turn it into a solid body. I'm going to set the distance here to 20 millimeters, and I'm also going to leave all the options as shown on screen exactly as is. Once that's done, press OK. With that complete, let's go ahead and turn off our sketch. So by default, I believe Fusion 360 automatically turn off the sketch. But in this case where it didn't, you can hover over to sketches. And then you can go ahead and turn off sketch on sketch one and toggle it back on. For now, we'll no longer need it. So let's just go ahead and continue with our design. From here, we need to go ahead and add some fillets to each corner of this product here. To do that, I'm going to click on modify, then select the fillet option as shown here. From here, we can select each edge on our square. And we can go ahead and push this in to let's just say around 10 millimeters. Press OK. Now with this complete, the next thing we need to do is to create the cutouts for our catch-all tray. Now in order to create that, we need to create another sketch. So go ahead and turn off any existing sketches within your canvas. Then click on Create Sketch. Then select the top plane here. From here, you should be directly drawing or sketching on the top face of our body here. Now to do this, what we want to do is to create a two-point rectangle and start mapping out our sketch. Now, don't worry if this will be or looks confusing. I promise you, I'm gonna walk you through every step here. So let's go ahead and draw this out from the very top left, drawing this out so that way it extends over our origin. Then I'm also gonna create another one on the right-hand side and select our placement here. Now, don't worry if it's not perfect, we're gonna go ahead and set up some dimensions. To do that, we're gonna make sure that these two are parallel. Now, if you use the two-point rectangle, they should already be parallel, but there is a feature here called parallel, so that way it matches these two up, so that way they are parallel to each other. In addition, we also need to set some dimensions from the top to the bottom and left and right. To do that, I'm gonna press D on my keyboard, select this edge to this edge. I'm gonna set this value to eight millimeters. I'm going to repeat the exact same process for the top here on the right hand side. And the cool thing about Fusion is that I can actually reference an existing value we created. So instead of typing in 8, I can just select 8 here on the left hand side. And by default, if I were to ever change this value, this one will also change as well. Let's do the exact same thing for the bottom, pressing D. Then selecting the 8 once again, pressing Enter. and then selecting eight once again. And we need to do this for all four sides. And there you have it. By now you should have the top fully dimensioned, the left, the bottom, the middle, and as well as the side. Now with that complete, we can go ahead and take these two profiles, pressing E on our keyboard, and we can drag this down to let's just say negative 15. 
Once that's done, make sure the operation is set to cut, so that way we cut into our bodies. Make sure the distance is set to 15. I might actually make this a little bit more, so maybe negative 18. And the reason for this is because our catch-all tray is 20 millimeters um, high, so we basically just wanna create some spacing so it's not too thick. Let's press OK. Now with that complete, the next thing we need to do is to add some fillets onto each edge. To do that, we're gonna click on Modify, Fillet, then select each corner as shown here. And if you need to revolve around your screen in order to get a better look, feel free to do so. Once completed, I'm gonna set the distance or the fillet value to let's just say 10 millimeters. In addition, I wanna make sure it kind of matches up with our fillet as shown here. I believe this one was 10 millimeters as is, so let's go ahead and match that up. So I believe it's 15, actually it was 10, if not eight. I like eight since it seems to match up a bit more, so I'm happy with that. Press okay. The next thing I wanna do here is to add a fillet, so that way it adds a kinda layered texture effect going on inside the catch-all tray. To do that, we're gonna press F on our keyboard, then select the inner edges of our design here. From here, we can actually drag this out, and as you can see, we can set up a distance, or the radius, and I'm gonna set the radius value to let's just say 15. So 15 doesn't completely line it up for the very top. So I'm actually gonna set this to 18. Now the reason why it's only able to go up to 18 is because the distance going down is 18, meaning that our cut that we made into our design is 18. So the amount of fillet radius that we can add will only be 18 as well. Press okay. Now with that complete, you have your fully modeled catch-all tray inside Fusion 360. Let's go ahead and set this up in our slicer. Click on bodies, right click on body one, then click on save as mesh. From here, let's go ahead and set the preparation type to print utility, set the output to custom, which is for me, Bamboo Studio, and make sure to set your application if you're using any sort of sl slicer different from mine. I'm gonna go ahead and export this to my slicer. And here I have my 3D printed or 3D printable catch-all tray ready to be sliced within Bamboo Studio. And there's my design from start to finish. I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to print and I'll show you guys the final result. For this design, I 3D printed this with PLA carbon fiber and I think it came out absolutely amazing. This filament hides the layer lines on the walls and as well as gives it a nice textured effect going all around your 3D print. So if you like this tutorial and wanna get access to more designs and resources just like this, make sure to check out 3D Printing School down below in the description. We cover more guides and resources specifically for 3D printing. In addition, our community is packed with sellers, designers, creators, print farmers, and people who are learning 3D printing and as well as selling their own 3D printed products. If you guys wanna get access to this model and as well as access to more resources and trainings, make sure to check out 3D Printing School down below in the description. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.